Welcome to Creeping It Real. I am Judo. Over here we got Jake in behind the camera. Yeah, it's Gabe. Whatever. He moved out of his parents' <laughs> hey, apartment congrats. house. Yeah, and We're he was all up. like, "Out of the basement." I'm being a big boy now. Mm-hmm. Got his big boy pants on and everything. Exactly. Yeah, you got those out of your closet, I think. <laughs> Better than when little, I stopped, boy, I stopped pants. needing them. So, yeah. Hey yeah. guys, if uh, you get the opportunity, check us out on Instagram. Um, Fill that up. For we've us, got Gabe. that. Oh, we've got, got a couple there. of followers on there. Um, we love it. If you uh, just interacted, we've got some cute pictures of Pudgy on there and some other stuff. Uh, it is creeping it real horror, by the way. Uh, last week we watched Ouija's Halloween Night. That was, um, I believe, your suggestion? <laughs> it's a full moon feature, so it could have been either one. Anyways, uh, hey, hey. Gabe, can you, can you play that trailer for us? Hang on. I have no problem claiming when I suggest <laughs> silly movies, but right, right. you suggested this one. Oh, right? you mean like the one before that? Which one was it before that? I don't even remem remember. I thought it was the uh, the really, really bad Oh, movie. oh, 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 uh, Freaked. Yes, that was terrible. Yes. That was awful. That that but hey, was bad. All right. Hey, yes. What I decided what we're going to do, because somebody uh, gave us good criticism. They said, yeah. hey, when you're showing trailers, if you're going to have the audio on the trailer, shut don't the talk. F up. Got it. Uh, and, let, and if you're going to talk over it, then don't have the audio. So if we're watching the trailer and something we want to say, we'll say, hey, Gabe, pause it. And then we'll just say our piece and then we'll Lovely. start it again. Lovely. Okay. Do it, Gabe. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, go. I was just testing. Okay. Actually, pause right here if you would, Gabe. <laughs> okay. Good job. Wait, All right, you can go the, back. The, go ahead. The, 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 <laughs> we got this entire hotel for the whole night. This is going to be the greatest Halloween party in the history of Halloween Okay, pause parties. it. So I thought that kid was Drake from Drake and Josh for a good while there. Oh. All right. Four friends. Go ahead, Gabe. The party was supposed to start by now. You have to believe in miracles. Your miracle. Pause. So they make it very obvious that this chick, this dude, is into this blonde chick mm -hmm. in in the vampire outfit. Yeah, they made it very clear that she had no cares for him whatsoever. Yeah. But then. She, he's dancing and she's like acts like it's not a big deal whereas if you wanted to make it clear as she did throughout everything that she had no interest she'd walk away yeah she would be like no we're not doing this you know we can comment on this stuff in the movie judah this is really unprofessional of you to have him pause this all right go, Gabe, go ahead I don't think we need to see any more trailer. Yeah, I think we're good. We got this. This is the whole movie, literally. Yeah, there we go. The Jamaican pig guy. First, I just want to say, this was directed by Danny Dravens. Drave, Draven? Okay. Danny Draven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Danny has been in the film industry for a long time. Oh, yeah. Masters of... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. He's been, he's been doing a lot of stuff. Okay. Now, when I was looking up information, as you know, I like to kind of give some behind the scenes, give you a little budget kind of information. Yeah, yeah. I was not able to find much of anything. Even like Wikipedia and then IMDb was not giving me a whole lot of information. Okay. I did find one little teeny like featurette 
You did. You did. Re- so you reached out to him. I did. You? I reached How out to Daniel. Go? I got to him on Instagram. Hey. I, you know, followed Which we him. have, by the way, Creeping yeah, at Real exactly. Horror. Creeping at Real Horror. Uh-huh. And I sent him a message. I was like, look, man, we just watched your movie. I'd like to give some information. You got anything you want to share? I'm not finding a lot of anything. And he blew it you took off. Him, yeah. It, well, no, he didn't blow me off. Yeah, it took him off. a while, but then... A few days later, I, I yeah. A few days later, I see that he follows us, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, this might actually lead somewhere." Then two days later, he responded to me, and essentially goes, "Check out the Blu-ray, bye." That's uh, blowing you off, dude. No, he said, "Hey, there's a lot of information on the Blu-ray, but I understand that if you're streaming it, you don't see any of that s- stuff." Mm-hmm. And he also mentioned that the first time ever they actually streamed. They took five days to film this movie, and every day they live streamed the whole days of production live. So there is legitimately <laughs> somewhere out there. Well, it's one. It's probably on the Blu-ray, and King. Uh, they probably had a specific website set up at that gotcha. point that you yeah. probably can't access now, right? Because it was a live thing. But then he also was like, "Here's some." Here's a link uh, on the Kings of Horror. They have a feature at it. I thought that was pretty nice that he at least reached out and he was like, here, you can get your information here. <laughs> here. And I hey, watched. Hey, you can get your information here. Anyways, cool. That's No, no like, hey, hey, thanks, Danny. I, I, Dan, I just wanted to say, even though this movie was not for me, I, I did not, it wasn't really my thing. It's definitely, yeah, a very niche market. Even so, it like Full Moon, they're very well known for over the top, yeah, weird stuff. This is even more niche than that. I, I think thought. we got this delivered everything the trailer said it was going to. That's the whole thing. It, it didn't pretend to be anything. And we've talked about if you're if you're going to be a horror movie and you try to take yourself seriously, you have a difficult time. Oh yeah, you you have to like nail everything, or you're going to get picked apart, and people are going to crap on you. But if you go in and you're like, no, we're just gonna be a goofy. This is gonna. Ha- it's a party movie essentially. It's a. It's a pothead movie. Yeah. It's like smoke a joint with your friends and watch this, and then you know beat off to the porn stars that were in it later. <laughs> Which that was when I was looking at the, uh, the cast and crew. Anybody who was not like a main character had some dude. kind of like a porn was in the porn industry. Background. Yeah, it's wild. But. Him at least taking the time and letting me know where I could get the information. I'm super grateful. And everything that I watched, this dude was pumped about this movie. I mean, he was jazzed. He was excited about it. Do you think he's a pothead? Uh, I would say he probably partakes. Probably. But um, it was almost infectious, his excitement for this movie. Like, I was watching... The behind the scenes, and I was getting excited for the movie, even though I had already seen it and been like, eh, it's not for me. Mm-hmm. But he was just so thrilled and excited about the practical effects and the silliness. They reference the ghoulies so many times. Yeah. Because man. this is Definitely, almost yeah, like a weed version of the ghoulies. Yeah. Uh, for like the a newer generation. Yeah. Now, I've never been into drugs any kind, I've never uh, experimented with them. Not like your brother. Gabe, exactly. Your double butt crack brother. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But I, I do find it funny that there is that that culture. It's like if if you're into weed, you want to display it on your clothes. You're suddenly buying Wild. movies that have yeah. to do with yeah. weed. It's definitely interesting where, yeah, it used to be very, um, what would you call it? Uh, hidden. I don't... I guess it was just, yeah, uh, um... Uh, there's a word I'm looking for. I don't know the word. It's oh come on. Um, it used to be very cliche, not cliche. Um, very I, um, keech. I think I'm getting um, a bruise. Just keep. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know, but it seems. I I can't think of something in my life where it's. <laughs> I don't know where it's like I need to what tell me Zelda. Tell me. Okay, I have <laughs> I have a mouse pad. Godzilla. Zelda. Godzilla. I have a few Godzilla things. Your Pikachu mouse pad? I don't I don't have a Pikachu mouse pad. You did? No. Or was that Samus? I had a Samus puffy butt <laughs> mouse pad. 
Yeah, that was weird. That was that was left to me by Gabe. And then the um, really weird. And then the statue you had, the anime. Also Gabe, left to me that? by Gabe. I remember that. Yeah, no, I. Really yeah, weird. No. <laughs> he blames you for everything Anyways, while you're gone. You know, yeah, all I, all I'm saying is, if you were to point those things out, Zelda or Godzilla. I don't base my identity on those things. Sonic tends to be one of those things too, but not me because I'm not autistic. But <laughs> you are wearing a blue shirt, which we yeah. He's gonna he, he's gonna go fast. Gotta go fast. All Thanks. I'm asking is I'm curious. Sure, I don't understand why is it people when it comes to weed they want to make it part of their identity. It's weird. Uh, is that really? Uh, who knows, man? Yeah, hey, make it legal. Legalize. I don't know. Anyway, so this movie was I I liked the practical effects. They were goofy. The monsters were they goofy. Were. They were very like they uh, they were similar enough that they kind of went together except for a couple of them which are super weird. <laughs> like the um werewolf. Yeah. I loved his bike scene. That was the right best around. scene in the the whole movie in my around the green screen. Yeah. Um, the practical effects were really good. Uh, Game, goofy. Play yeah. this video. Kill the audio, but just play this. Yeah. Since we're talking about special effects, okay. This is part of that featurette. As you can see back there, they got one of the the weed weed G's that he's been working on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Which but, was probably one of the main weed G's, I think, in this movie. He did show up the most. Yeah. I think he was very uh. Heavy into the drugs and the drinking and the the boobs and the I you know it almost makes me wonder if they if he kind of uh, portrayed himself in this monster you know because oh. you think that like with all of the stuff making a movie about weed and stuff well, he probably smokes weed okay yeah. this monster smokes weed probably drinks whatever he hired a bunch of porn stars this little dude loves boobies. Um, you know, so I, I just wonder, I, I always think about that stuff sometimes, um, when looking in this stuff, I'm like, did he kind of like, you know, project himself in this, uh, monster and whatnot? Anyways, just a, you know, he def, wow, Jessica Rabbit back there. Yeah, I saw that. Also the X-Files. <laughs> I can, Scully. I can support <laughs> this. He's into redheads. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So the funny thing at this one, this uh, Ouija that he has right there is play, plays piano in one scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can pause this and take us back to full screen right now. Um, and there's, they showed it in the trailer where he get, he motorboats some chicks' big boobs. The funny thing is, when I was watching this featurette, that woman is like some kind of a uh, assistant. You you see her throughout this uh, featurette. She's off like. You know, sweeping things up, getting coffee, posting things on the wall. She's definitely an assistant, and she's nowhere else in the movie Except but this one movie. scene where they're hey, like, "Hey, hey, Sarah, can we borrow your tits?" Exactly for this. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. very funny. Anything to get into the industry. Yeah, yeah. That was her couch call. Also on this featurette, Danny talks specifically to like people who are interested in being in the industry. And he gives a lot of good kind of insight into it. He speaks to actors about if you're coming in to read for a part, how to, how to act, not to be too prepared. But if you're coming in to play the part of a doctor, don't come in in your wife beater and slippers. <laughs> you know. So I thought it was a very good feature again on Kings of Horror. Check that out. I'll put a link in the description. But overall... It's a goofy movie. It's a goofy that's, movie. That's all it is. I, it's fun. To, it'd be fun to watch with your friends, maybe. I wouldn't watch it again. If I mean, if, if it came in a topic, good movies to watch or terrible movies to watch with your friends, and this might be thrown in there. Yeah. I give it a th three out of ten, in I, my opinion. It, it is. It's not, again, I like I said, it's not for me. Yeah. Um, when comparing it to Ghoulies, which let's throw up that picture of John... Beekler, who died a few years ago, he did all the special effects for the Ghoulies, and mm -hmm. he did stuff for I think Spookies. Did he? Yeah, Spookies. Yeah, I think this so. guy has yeah. been. Oh, Troll. This guy has been involved in a lot of stuff, but he 
inspired Ouija's so much. I just wanted to show a picture that you know they had a lot of you can take it back calls to, to uh, full moon movies. Yeah, other movies. I mean, people in costumes in um, puppet master costumes. Those were everywhere in this movie. Um, this was definitely a lot of uh, hey. This is they they wore their inspiration on their sleeve. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure on this. So, but again, mm. see, I can see. Um, what movie did we we watched? Uh, Cyst. God, that was interesting. Yes. Yeah. And again, it's almost on the same level where that movie was like a callback to those fifties, forties kind of sci fi horror movies, mm. which the I body horror liked. Yeah. And so I appreciated it. This is definitely a callback to the 80s goofy... The E's movies is what I call them. Ghoulies, Spookies, yes. Ouija's, yes. The, I didn't even... Yes. That's hilarious. I didn't pick that up, but yeah, yeah. that is so funny. I call them the E's movies. So mm-hmm. this, this, that's exactly what this is. This is just a love letter to those types of movies. Obviously, Danny dr- grew up watching these, and mm-hmm. he was super stoked. He wanted to be involved in something like it, and then he created this love letter to it. Mm-hmm. And I can't deny the man that, whether or not I enjoyed it or not. And Full Moon picked it up. Yeah. And I, I would say, even though, again, not for me, they did a good job. I mean, they nailed what they were trying to do, in my opinion. Hey. There you go. And they had a Pontiac Sunfire in there that was rust-free. Like, what? I, I didn't pick up on that. Not a car no. guy. I don't know. You got anything else to say about this? No, I mean, I couldn't get the time frame down. That was one hard thing that was difficult because of like, was it like supposed to be in the 90s mm. or like, you know. I, yeah, um, they didn't show any cell phones, I don't think. No. Uh, and the car that they drove, the girls came in on was, it was like a Sunfire. It was a Pontiac. I don't know if it was Sunfire or what, but anyways, it was rust free. So I'm thinking like, okay, is this movie supposed to be in the nineties or no cell phones? Because, you know, anyways, uh, I couldn't pick that up. Uh, I guess it wasn't mandatory. Um, I thought that it was ridiculous that they had these Jamaican like characters <laughs> for like, cause I mean, what, hey man, smoke weed. It's just like, Oh dude, this is so cheesy. Anyways, they definitely were going for every kind of like stereotype within yeah. the weed yeah, for genre. Sure. For sure. So genre. again, I'd give it a three out of ten. I wouldn't watch it again. Might get thrown in there and like, hey, you got a movie that I can watch with my buddies. Uh, I think I'm right there with you. Three so, out of ten. Okay. But I definitely felt the love in it. And sure. I and I respect Danny for enjoying it. Putting it out there even yeah. though he probably knew it wasn't gonna be a no, but it, it, that's not... Massive success. He just did it because he wanted to do it. And, and he was making it for a certain crowd, and I think he nailed it for that It was crowd. definitely for, like, him and his buddies type, mm-hmm. like, thing. But, yeah. Well, hey, guys, we've been creeping it real. Um, thanks for joining us. Again, check out our Instagram. Check out our Rumble. Uh, if you guys get an opportunity, that's where we stream all of these wonderful movies that we review here. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Yeah. See ya.